Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review of Mrs. What's It from the new Wrinkle in Time dolls by Mattel. Now I already mentioned that in one of my other videos, but in case you don't know, Mattel is working with Disney again, doing their live action movies. So that's awesome. Now this is Mrs. What's It. She is of course modeled after Reese Witherspoon, which is the actress that plays her. And she's just incredible. Let's take a closer look at the box. Um, it's very beautiful. It has the colors of her land or like her part of the universe or something like that is what I've heard from the trailers. <laughs> but this is definitely one of her better looks. And she has a bunch of looks, but this one is amazing. On the bottom it says, A Wrinkle in Time, Mrs. What's It? Barbie Signature Collection. Awesome, right? Like the way she's this, this the blah, blah. The way she's displayed looks amazing. <laughs> now, on the back of the box, we see A Wrinkle in Time, Mrs. Watts at Daw, and there's a description of the film, and you can go ahead and pause if you'd like to read that. And there's a picture of Reese Witherspoon, which looks amazing. This hairstyle is so detailed. And I want to show you really quickly, and don't mind the box, this is Oprah's box, but I just want to show you really quickly how you take her out. It's pretty simple. If you're a collector that doesn't like to the box, you can just slip them right out, take pictures, and put them right back in. Here's Mrs. Watson out of the box. She does include a certificate of authenticity and a stand that's fitted to her body type. Now each of the dolls has their own stand that goes with the body. So that's perfect. She stands perfectly without any issues or falling over. Now let's take a closer look at her face sculpt and face makeup. I think she looks beautiful. This is definitely Reese Witherspoon. It looks just like her. And I know a lot of people are going to buy this doll to turn her into like Legally Blonde or one of the other Reese characters that she's played, <laughs> which is a great idea. She looks beautiful. That is her profile, 100%. She has that funky blue lipstick that she has in the film and the trailers that we've seen so far. Her makeup is on point. There's no flaws here. Barbie is just killing it with this. And as I said earlier, this is my favorite thing about Mattel and Barbie. They really make actor like actor dolls look perfectly i love her she's probably one of my favorites but i, I love all three so i don't know but yeah <laughs> anyways her hairstyle is on point i'm really surprised with the way that they style the hair and the way that it came in the box because usually stock photos are one thing and then the doll is another but no that is not the case here she looks just like she does in the stock photos look at that inter intricate hairstyle <laughs> She has like this bun, and part of me really wants to let it all loose and wash it and do all of that, but I won't. I won't do that. Then she has these long strings in the front, which are all curled up with a little bit of gel. And it's a really cool look. I love it. Mrs. Watts' outfit is pretty awesome. Uh, Mattel did a really, really good job turning it into doll form. Um, as it said in the trailers and in the description of the doll, she's the most youthful youthful one. Is that how you say it? She's the most youthful, <laughs> and the most fun and active, I guess you could say. So this colors and this outfit just matches her personality 100%. And Mattel did a great job bringing it to life in doll form. It's beautiful. It has all these peach colors and greens and all the little, like, if you can see it there, all this glitter. I mean, it's not really glitter. It's more like a metallic touch to it, but it's beautiful. I love it. And the mid part, she also has, um, it's a belt. And I'll take it off right now. And I guess you could position, position it whichever way you want. But there you go. And as much as I love the belt, when you take it off, it honestly looks really good without it. I mean, I love it with the belt, and I'm going to keep the belt on, but I love it without it too. There you can see the skirt, which I'm not going to remove because I don't like to mess too much with the dolls, but as you can see, it's two different pieces. It's beautiful. I love the colors um, of Mrs. What's It. There you go. You can just put it back on just with the belt curl. No big deal. 
It's perfect. So much material, so many different materials actually used on this doll. Look at that little fringy thing on the side. <laughs> I wanted to show you a closer look at the actual um, bottom part of the dress, or I should say the skirt. <laughs> and I think it's awesome how Mattel did this. They did a really good job. Obviously, she has a blue skirt, but she has all these fringes or you know, dangling material, I guess we should say. And it's different layers, different colors. It's all cut up differently. And it's beautiful. I think it looks so flowy and that is very in touch with her character. She's like a flowy creature. <laughs> there you can see when you lift them all up, the actual base of the skirt is a it's a it's like a glittery blue. And it's a little bit of a tough material, I would say, a little harder. And that's on purpose, I'm sure, to keep all the fringes in place. Beautiful. The articulation on her legs is pretty cool. They're really, really articulated, and I love that. It reminds me of the made to move, but with better feet, I guess. And she's not wearing any shoes because she doesn't wear them in the film. I also wanted to show you something that I really like. Her fingernails are painted silver, and that's really a nice touch. Alrighty, my warriors. So that is all for today. I'm super excited for Wrinkle in Time. I think it's going to be an amazing film full of powerful women. And I just love, love that. Uh, make sure that you go and check it out, please. And also, if you like this dolls, they're available on Shop Disney, Mattel's website, uh, Barbie Collector. Um, you can pretty much find them everywhere. But I did, I do recommend to get them from Barbie Collector website, which is barbie.mattel.com because they do have um, specials where if you buy all three, you save a lot of money. So I highly recommend you do that before they sell out. Don't forget to also check out my review for Mrs. Witch and Mrs. Who, which I'll attach the links on the top and on the bottom. Again, I'm super happy with Mattel taking over the live action dolls. And I'm not sure if Disney Store is still going to be making them or not. But for the meantime, I love Barbie and I love the job that they're doing. Keep it up. All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking out my video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.